tremendous restart for Sadler. He's a car length out before they even hit the banking in turn number one. They're still trying to get organized behind him. Sadler will lead the pack out of turn number two. Christopher Bell comes to the number two spot. Third is Kyle Larson. They're side by side for fourth and fifth. Front three, that single file that Dave mentioned, go to the bottom of the racetrack. Make it side by side for the number four spot to the inside. Shane Lee giving the RCR car a good run, and here comes Ross Chastain. He's giving a big push to Shane Lee right now, and he's pushed him all the way to that four spot. Now we got a problem, a spin coming off turn number four. One car backwards and looping around. It's the zero car right now of Garrett Smithley. He looped it around twice as sparks shower off the rear wheels of that car. I think he's got a tire down, and he just can't get it back up onto the racetrack. Finally has it under control on the apron now, the red number zero machine. He spun around about three times before he could gather it back up and get in control. Now he's in the wet grass trying to get back out, but the rear tires are down on that machine. And he has found his way out of that grass. We stay under the green. Six to go. The field's on the backstretch. Working halfway down the Daytona Super stretch. Elliot Sadler has the field in command. Christopher Bell on the back door. Kyle Larson is there and Shane Lee. Shane Lee now beginning to move forward. He's up into that four spot. Side by side right behind it but the front four have broken away from the rest of this field. Halfway back in the pack they're going three wide now. Shuffle is on, well behind the leader, Elliot Sadler, who's in front. Five laps to go, but Christopher Bell is on the charge. Here he comes, racing up behind Sadler. Bell's got a good run coming up on the back bumper of the Elliot Sadler machine. Sadler's going to hold the bottom of the racetrack, block the charge. Larson up the track. He nearly gets clipped by Ryan Blaney. He'll dive to the bottom. He'll beat Bell off turn number two for second. Excellent move by Larson. He's not done making those moves. He'll go from left to right, try to get a run on the race leader, Elliot Sadler. He's got drafting help. Now Blaney looks three wide. Three wide for the lead. Coming through turn three. Blaney to the high side. Larson in the middle. Sadler down low. Two by two behind him. Now Sadler begins to nose out front, but but here comes Larson. Four laps to go. They're stacked up three wide from third on back. Shane Lee at the bottom. Justin Allgaier in the middle. Ryan Blaney topside. Matter of fact, they are three wide, four rows deep behind them. Back to one. They're, the way they're racing from third on back, it'll be a miracle if we get to the finish without another caution. Front of the pack, it's Kyle Larson. Right in his tire tracks, Elliott Sadler looking to the bottom. Nothing there. They're three wide behind them. A lot of turbulent air and cars are beginning to dance and bob and move. Here's somebody doing a little shaking out of line. It's Elliott Sadler to the inside of Justin Allgaier. This for second. Side by side for second now is leading up front is Kyle Larson right now, two by two by two behind him, then three by three beyond that. Drifting to the high side to block is Larson. He takes him off turn four. Elliot Sadler has never won a points paying race at Daytona. He's won a pair of Whoa, Gatorade trouble goals. means straight away. Cole Custer gets turned. Four wide, they race through the straightaway. Ryan Reed and others, Josh Williams involved. It started with a four wide move coming into the trioval. And right now, cars crashing and colliding coming through the trioval. Wow, we saw that one coming out of turn number four. And right now, Kurt, we have about a dozen cars, I think that a half a dozen cars that got collected here in the trioval. Four wide does not work entering the trioval here at Daytona. Safety crews on the scene at the exit of the trioval headed down toward turn number one. Ryan Reed is involved. Ryan Sieg is involved. Ryan Reed has already climbed from his car. Flames from under the hood just briefly. Those have since gone out. Ryan frustrated, climbs out, takes off the helmet, removes the earplugs, and frustrating night for him. He's been involved in a couple of incidents here this evening. You mentioned Cole Custer being involved as well. Another driver that's had his share of difficulty throughout the course of this race here tonight. He takes off his helmet. Cole getting ready to climb from his machine right now. Wow, what a move here coming into the trioval. And it started coming out of turn number four when Cole Custer swung to the high side of the racetrack. Ryan Reed got put four wide, second from the bottom. And then that's when the crashing and colliding began. Josh Williams into the wall. Looked like you had Jeff Green involved in this. Cole Custer, you had Ryan Sieg, also Ryan Reed. And that's when the crashing began just outside the top 10. Alex LeBay got clipped as well, heading off into turn number one. Another multi-car crash. We are under caution, and we will be going into overtime here in Daytona. Right now on the racetrack here at Daytona, we are working the caution fly. Cleanup continues as uh, the field that left the trial will spinning.
crashing and colliding is now being uh, looked at, and it looks like that all involved are okay. Uh, the ones that are worse for wear, Kurt, the Ryan Reed machine, also Josh Williams and Cole Custer, they took the heaviest of hits into the outside retaining wall. And again, four wide going into the tri-oval does not work. What looked like Jeff Green clipped Cole Custer, Custer into the Josh Williams car, who was having a career night here in Daytona. Uh, obviously, it was not meant to be for him to reach the end of this race. But as you get down to the nitty gritty in Daytona, we talked when we opened up the broadcast, this trophy means everything. And you saw some drivers making some moves there that, that the otherwise wouldn't make, I don't believe. J.J. Yaley, another driver that had no place to go. He was in the outside lane right up next to the safer barrier when all of this unfolded, uh, along with Jeff Green and Cole Custer and Josh Williams, Benny Miller, uh, Alex LeBay. Uh, then uh, you had other drivers like Ryan Reed toward the center lane of the racetrack. How about Christopher Bell? Things can happen so fast here. He had been contesting the lead. He got shuffled back outside the top five. He was fortunate because he was down to the inside lane, and all of that broke loose to his outside. He managed to get away without being scathed. Total of nine drivers involved in this caution flag. And again, as we put lap number 99 of 100 on the board, the cleanup still continues down at the exit of the trioval. We will be going into overtime. From Daytona International Speedway, this is the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR.